turn your Bible with me. You know, I said you should come with me to the book of Psalms 110. When you see a man that, I, that is relatively an old Christian, he's been around for five years, seven years, and he's still living in immorality, one of the symptoms, one of the reasons is because he refused to exercise his spirit. If you're exercising your spirit, you will overcome sin. Oh, you see somebody that is always confused. I mean, why you can be anointed and confused. That person has the diagnosis is that he's not been exercising his spirit. You see somebody that has inferiority complex. When he comes among people, they become, you know what? He doesn't know himself. He's lacking in the knowledge of his identity because he has not exercised his spirit. The Bible says that in him, everything consists. It means that the meaning of everything can be found in him. I was born with facial palsy. So I'm not the most handsome of men because of my, my impediment. Right? So I've not closed this eye before uh, since I was born. But it doesn't affect my self-esteem. I stood before professors and I opened the scriptures and they went to their pastor and asked him to tell that man to reduce the intensity. Yes. Yes. Including the professor that was the, my project supervisor in the university. He was in that congregation. That's the highest number of professors and doctors I've had to address. It was a 5,000 member strong congregation. What I was saying was not what I learned in the classroom. I got that sense of my being when Jesus whispered to me and told me what he had crafted me to do on the earth. Hallelujah. The other day, some people said they wanted to kill me. You know why I will not be killed? Because that thing that Jesus called me to do, he didn't call so many people to do it. Are you there? Meanwhile, it's not as if I'm afraid of death like that. I don't hold too tightly to this life. Because I've seen the glory of God. I've seen something better than this estate. seen something better than that. and I saw these things in the place of prayer I saw what Jesus was willing to give me after this life and there was no promotion on earth that could come close to it so I'm not ready for any earthly promotion that will eclipse what Jesus showed me that he is willing to give to me in his kingdom you will lack conviction if you don't exercise your spirit. You start doing hook up, hook up in just if you don't exercise your spirit. You become a creature of degeneration. You will steal like every other person. You will chase people's wives like every other person. And, even, and if you are a pastor, you will sleep with members that God has given you to, to shape. I have seen the glory of God. I've seen it. I've seen where Jesus, where Jesus, the place he offered me in the kingdom of God. And he told me that if I can be faithful. He gave me the same instructions he gave Jeremiah. Do not be afraid of their faces. Oh, you must have seen that, that people have been, have been insulting me since last year, February. <coughs> the more they insult, the more my sleep, my, my sleep has been improving. <coughs> because I'm in the service of Jesus. He's my first audience. 
the person insulting me on Facebook was not there when Jesus called me. I don't serve him. I'm not in his service. Are you there? Oh my God. If Jesus comes to me in the night and says, go and say this to this person, I'm the first person. I will be at his doorpost in the morning. Thus said the Lord. The, the exact words I will tell him. If I die after that, so be it. it. That was how he planned it. The reason why I will not shake is because I have seen the glory of God. If you see the glory of God, it doesn't erase. It lives with you as a close companion, like your own beating heart. I've had opportunities to have money. The kind of money that is an abomination to have. But it will, it will be at the cost of a little compromise, just a little. But I couldn't do that to Jesus. In London, 24 hours, Satan appeared to me three times and pleaded with me to help him. Three times in 24 hours. Say, so I, I built a temple and I need seven sacrifices to activate it. I've done six and you are blocking the seventh one. Satan, he came three times in 24 hours. For your information, those pictures you see in nursery school about Satan that he has horns, it's not true. He's the most handsome creature I've ever seen. He doesn't stammer. You know how he stammer? He's fluid. You will believe him if you hear him talk. And he's very, very self-controlled. Doesn't get angry easily. Doesn't show his anger easily. Persuasive. Three times in 24 hours. And I told him I will not serve you. Because I've seen the glory of God. So when you see people that are not rooted in their convictions, they can play. <laughs> you know what? They have not exercised their spirit enough to see his glory. No, they have not. To see his glory. I went to a nation to preach and then they organized a dinner and brought one of the contestants for presidency in that nation into the deal. I didn't even know that the team would now go. Uh, so, I thought it was a closed meeting where we could say the truth. So before we came for that meeting, I, I looked for Jesus. I woke up 12, in the 12 midnight. I said, are you there? By 3 a.m. he started talking to, to me. He said, that man you are going to meet will be the next president of this country. Meanwhile, politically, it was, it was impossible. Impossible because they are the whites handed over the leadership of that nation to three families. The guy was not in that family. He was not among the three. And at the, as at the time that I was talking with him, he was partyless because they expelled him from his party. So we came to the place and I said, you are David. That's the name Jesus called him in the night. You are David. And I told him that he was going to win. Blah, 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 blah. It was that prophecy that he wanted to give up that money. It was that prophecy that made him. So he went on to win. And I was invited. The, that nation invited me for the inauguration of that. Person. When I saw the preachers that were present in the inauguration, I did not use the hotel that they gave me. May the Lord give you understanding. When, when I saw the preachers that were sitting, Huh? in that inauguration because I know all of us will be in that whole hotel I stayed with a friend because Jesus did not plan for me and these ones to meet in the whole of my lifetime now if I stayed in the hotel they would have come to look for me in the night to say to take me to the um, what they call it, the villa. In fact, the next day, my appointment will be 
in the presidency was 9 a.m. and I had ministers conference. So I went and prayed. I said, cancel this meeting. So one of the, I've never seen so many presidents gather like that. One of the presidents barged into my own slot and that was how I couldn't. So they now say, okay, that thing will not work. So I went for my ministers conference. And when I escaped, nobody knew. Because the one that gave those words did not ask me to see anybody. In fact, I also asked my father in the Lord, should I go on this trip? He says, a great honor now, go. That was why I, go. I, I, I went. If not, I won't. I have seen the glory Jesus wants to give me. There's nothing any man alive that is, that is drawing breath to keep his flesh alive can give me in exchange of that glory. No, 